So the first thing I like to do when I wake up in the morning is fix my bed. I learned a long time ago that if I don't fix my bed, I generally will have an unproductive day because I'll be tempted to get back in it. So I always fix my bed. And another reason why I do it is because it just feels good to walk back into a bedroom that's nice and neat. The bed is fixed. Everything is in place. It just makes me feel really good and it sets the tone for my day. So I always fix my bed. The next thing I like to do is light candles. I'll usually light one or two in the bedroom and one or two in the living room and I keep an eye on them for safety but it just gets the ambiance going in my place it makes it smell good it makes me feel good so that's always something that I do as well if I'm gonna be home all day then I take my vitamins in the morning and hop in the shower so once I'm all done with my shower I usually get into my skincare and I have certain products that I use during the day and then different products that I use at night so I get into my daytime products that are safe for me to be out in the Sun and so forth that usually is a moisturizer sometimes I'll use a serum and then of course I always go on top of that with a sunscreen and I love the black girl sunscreen I love both the moisturizing one and the matte one so I usually finish off with those and then I'll moisturize my face one more time with some spray usually that's the Mario Badescu aloe vera spray or one of those really nice calming face sprays to just really set everything in place I don't wear a lot of makeup on my days off so skincare is something I really try to get into and I also like to apply whatever's on my face to my hands as well then I want to go ahead and take out what I want to throw on I'm just gonna throw on something comfortable to wear around the house right now so that's what I'm taking out just a little linen outfit from H&M so I'm gonna throw that on drink some water and then we'll head towards the kitchen to see if I want to eat or have something super light like a smoothie all right everybody so I am all comfy and casual and ready to make my smoothie for the morning I usually don't get like really hungry until around like 11 o'clock but sometimes I wake up just craving a little something and today I really want to have a smoothie so it's gonna be super simple I'm just gonna be adding strawberries coconut water and I have some collagen powder here and I'm also going to add a little bit of honey for sweetness and of course some ice. I do have my setup so that you guys can see me actually make the smoothie so you'll definitely see how I make it but yeah it's super simple. I've been trying my best to eat healthier these days so I'm keeping my smoothie recipe super simple y'all. Uh, as much as I want to make it sweet and creamy and luscious I'm just going to keep it really simple and make it extra healthy but it still tastes really really good so I'll go ahead and insert uh, picture in picture so you guys can see me make the smoothie so let's get into that because I need to get a little something on my stomach I did the last time I ate was for my lunch yesterday and I ate lunch late but still that's you know that was a while ago so kind of hungry this morning but I'm gonna start with the smoothie and then I'm gonna have a nice big lunch with you guys is so good y'all I've really been trying my best to eat a little bit healthier these days and I'm doing a lot better than I used to be but um, yeah right now I just want to relax for a little while sit down I have a really good video idea that I want to write out in my notebook before I forget it <laughs> and then I also want to try to revive these flowers my boyfriend bought me those flowers last week so I'm gonna kind of see if I can pick out which ones are still alive because it's starting to look a little a little frumpy but yeah let me let some light in here relax for a little while before I really get this day started so super glad to be bringing y'all along for a chill day with me Okay, so my video idea is all written out. Um, I was able to go ahead and get that down. I finished most of my smoothie, so yay me. <laughs> and then I went ahead and juiced up the flowers that my boyfriend bought me last week. I was able to save some of them, not many. It was a huge bouquet, so this is all that we have left. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit these right in the window right here so that they can get some sun, get some love. And um, now it's time for me to go ahead and get dressed and also get some sun and some love. So I'm gonna throw on the outfit of the day. I'll show it to you, I'll put it on and then we're heading out to Target. So Target is my favorite thing to do on my days off. So we gotta go to Target. Alrighty, so I am all dressed and ready to go. I threw on a little bit of makeup. I, I basically have on some tinted moisturizer by One Size Beauty. And then I just threw on a little bit of blushing. 
set it with a little translucent powder now i'm just combing my hair because i'm gonna be throwing on one of my wigs y'all <laughs> my little crimped wig that y'all seem to love so much i'm about to pop that on because i just cannot be bothered with my hair today i just i can't and you know that bun just wasn't it and you know when i'm going to target honey you know i know it ain't much but for me i still like to look put together i still want to look cute so i'm just gonna throw this little hair in a braid to the back of my head but um i'll show you guys my outfit in a second once i get my wig on once i get all the way cute you know <laughs> But um, yeah, I just this is this is basically what I do when I put my little wigs on. I just braid my little hair back. Super simple. I am a no fuss person when it comes to putting on wigs. Like seriously, I just cannot do all the methods and the this and the that and the adhesives and all that. It's just not for me. It's just not for me, y'all. So I just braid it, pin it. Okay, my little naps back there <laughs> it is what it is so boom that is done i'm gonna grab a wig cap real quick and then i'm gonna slap on my wig show you guys the outfit of the day and then we'll be out of here on my way to Tarjay. Alrighty, here is the outfit of the day i threw on my green dress from target i threw it on with some sneakers today because i just want to be really comfortable so i have on my little trotter sneakers from dsw and i have on this grass bag so i can just throw my wallet in there but yeah throw on some cute little sunnies i do not know where these sunglasses are from i don't even remember where i got them from but <laughs> i buy sunglasses from so many places that i just don't remember where these are from but yeah threw on my little target cutout dress I'm a little fat pocket hanging out of there but whatever we gonna work this dress <laughs> but yeah that's the look of the day got on my little crimped wig and we are ready to hit the streets y'all i'm ready to head out to target so let's get in the car and let's go so i just finished up at target and i really didn't go to get clothes because i ordered a bunch of clothes from target the other day online so i really just went to get a couple of groceries and kind of check in the home section and i did get a few things i'll share them with you guys when i get home but yeah i did pick up a couple of clothing items though in the store right now some new stuff that they had but i'm not going to show that to you guys because i have a huge Target clothing haul coming up for you guys and I'll just show what I got today as well as the stuff that I ordered online last week all together but I will show you the home stuff that I got and um, I'm kind of not hungry yet for lunch so I think what I'm going to do right now is go home drop off my stuff and walk and go get a coffee so that's another thing that I love to do on my days off is to take a nice walk, go get my coffee. You know, a lot of times I will make my coffee at home, you know, it's a money saver, but sometimes I just wanna splurge and go to Starbucks or Coffee Bean or one of the local coffee shops. We have some pretty amazing coffee shops in the city that I live in. So it's a lot of options for me to go to and most of them are in walking distance. So I think I'm gonna do that, walk and go get a coffee and enjoy some of the sun. It's such a beautiful day. It's about 82 degrees according to my thermometer in my car and it's just so nice out so i think i'm gonna take me a little walk to spend a little bit more time outside and then come back and make lunch so that is the plan right now so yeah headed home to park the car take the stuff in the house and then go get a coffee so that's where we at right now y'all <laughs> Alrighty, so I am in the house. I wanted to show you guys real quick before I take my walk what I picked up. Like I said, I went to Target mainly for groceries for today's meals, but I did pick up a few things for the home that I think are worth sharing, so I'll share those. The first thing I picked up are these really cute mini Dutch ovens. These are by the Hearth and Hand Magnolia line, and I got two of them. I wish there was three. I would've got three, but yeah, I got two of them. And as you can see, they have like a little lid. They're super heavy little Dutch ovens. I love those. I can't wait to use them. They're so cute. I also found some other things from the Hearth and Hand. I found this really cute brass bathroom hook. And I also found a cake or pizza spatula from the Hearth and Hand line. So I thought those were super cute. I just love everything in that line. I always find something that I want. 
The next thing that I found is really cool. I found these in the Bullseye Playground and they're little spice jars. And they have a magnetic top and then they come with these metal pieces on top with like a sticker. And you can stick the sticker underneath a cabinet and then the magnetic top of the jar will stick to the cabinet. So all of your spices and things can be off the counter, you know, hands-free and stuck underneath a shelf. And I'm planning to have some really nice shelving and cabinets in my kitchen. So these would be great to keep my spices like off the counter because I like having nice clear counters. But um, yeah, they were $5 each. I got three of them. They come with four jars in each. And I wish there were more because I certainly would have gotten five because I use a lot of spices. So I'm definitely gonna look for some more of these. I really like that idea, really cool. The, net, the last thing I wanna show you guys, well not the last, I actually have one more thing. But the next thing I wanna show you guys is something that I have been hooked on lately. It's these small spaces for Breeze little, I don't know what you call them. They're like little scent things and you can stick them wherever you want. When I tell you these make your entire house smell good, like it doesn't matter where you put it. You can put it in your bathroom, you can put it in the closet, you can put it in a room. It's gonna make the whole house smell good. I don't know what it is about these or how they made them like that, but they make your entire house smell amazing. So I had to stock up. I got three more. I have two in my cabinet right now. I like the game scent ones. I like the peach and I like the uh, linen and sky. So those are the ones that I have, but these are really awesome. They're made by Febreze. They're called small spaces and they're just like little things you can sit them wherever you want I have one inside of my car to keep my car smelling good and yeah they're just really cool I love those things uh, the last thing I picked up is this little gold clip so nothing major there a little hair clip but yeah that's all I picked up for the house everything else I got was groceries and I did pick up one clothing item but I'll show that to you guys when I share my full Target spring clothing haul next week. So I have another really big haul for coming for you guys from Target next week. So, and matter of fact, when I got back, one of the packages was at my door from Target. So yay, my stuff is starting to get here already. I'm so excited about that. But yeah, now that I've shown you what I got from Target, I'm ready to go get my coffee. And then when we get back, I'm sure I'll be hungry enough to go ahead and make lunch. So we'll get into that. So it is so warm and beautiful out that I decided to go ahead and have my coffee at the park. Um, yeah, I just want to sit on the grass, so I'm at the park. I'm gonna go ahead and just lay out my little blanket that I keep in my car and have my coffee here. Just with me. Um, yeah, just take you guys along. This is something that I like to do when I'm off to just really get out and bond with nature, bond with Mother Earth, sit on the grass, have my coffee, read my book. So that's what we're gonna do right now for a little while. We're gonna sit out here for about an hour, read my book and just enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day. I think I found my spot. So the book I'm reading, I wanted to share it with you guys real quick before I go. It's called Anatomy of Style by Sophie Gatchett. And it like talks about all the like icons of style and like their signature style and how they came up with it and stuff. I really like this book. It has a lot of pictures, but also has a lot of information. And I've told y'all in recent videos that I'm going through like style reformation and kind of reinventing my style. Not so much reinventing it, but just refining it so it's a little bit better. You know, I just feel like I could step it up a little bit as a fashion influencer. So I've shared that with you guys. So yeah, this book is really good if you're, you know, trying to hone in on your like personal style. This is really good because it has all the like popular celebrities and their like signature styles so if you're trying to like hone in on your style you can get ideas from this book so I really like this so I'll link it it's from Amazon took me a while to get it because I ordered it before it actually even came out and I finally got it and it's just really good like it just it shows like all the major celebrities and their like signature style and like what 
what elements create their personal signature style. So if you're trying to create like a signature style or, you know, just really hone in on what you like, I think this book is actually really, really good. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys, but now I'm getting ready to pack up. I've been here for almost 45 minutes and the sun is like really blazing now. So it's time for me to get up because I've, <laughs> I've also told y'all me and the sun are not, are not always friends. So yeah, time for me to go, go home, finish my coffee and then We'll make some lunch together, yeah. We'll make some lunch together, y'all. Let's go home. <laughs> This portion of today's video is sponsored by Caraway Home. Caraway produces 100% non-stick and non-toxic cookware that makes life easier and healthier. Their pieces are modern, impeccably designed, and durable. Whether you're a homegrown cook like me or a trained master chef, their cookware will meet your needs. My set is the Hero Cookware set. It comes in nine stunning colors and comes with storage and lids, making life so much easier. And as you can see, I have the set in gray. This color is stunning and it looks so modern. I love it. The design and composition of these pieces make cleanup and maintenance super easy. And you no longer have to worry about the possibility of harmful chemicals being released each time you prepare a meal for yourself or for your loved ones. If you're looking to upgrade your cookware, add some luxury to your kitchen, and protect your health, check out Caraway. Simply click the link in the description and use my discount code for 10% off your first order. In this day and age, many of us are looking to upgrade our lives as well as take better care of our health. So thank you so much Caraway for helping me take a step in the right direction. Now let's go ahead and cook up an amazing meal using my new cookware set from Caraway. Okay, so it's time for me to start on this delicious lunch that I'm about to make. I have everything laid out and I'm going to be making a burrata toast. And burrata is basically a mozzarella that's creamy in the middle. This is what it looks like. I picked up my burrata from Trader Joe's. Camera's not focusing, but whatever. If you guys haven't tried that cheese, try it. It is so bomb and it's so good on toast. Right here, chopped up, I have some finely chopped garlic. I also have some chopped basil and parsley in this bowl here. I have some cherry tomatoes that I cut in half to make them cook a little faster. I also have some finely sliced red bell pepper and some finely sliced yellow bell pepper. I also have some finely sliced onion there. I have some sourdough toast and that's going to be used to make my burrata toast. So to cook up this lovely meal, I'm going to be using this gorgeous pan here. And you guys saw my unboxing. So this is the saute pan that I'm going to be using, the smaller one, and it's such a nice pan. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this meal. It's going to be so delicious. Let's get right into it. So I went ahead and added some olive oil to my fry pan. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw in some of those sliced bell peppers. I'm also going to add some of the sliced onions and my tomatoes. And look how everything just kind of slides around that pan so easily. Ugh, I love it already. So to season up this lovely mixture, I added some dried oregano, dried basil, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, as well as salt and pepper for taste. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir that together. I have not added my garlic yet because I don't want it to burn. I want this mixture to really cook down and get nice and soft before I add my garlic. So now that everything has had some time to cook down a bit, I went ahead and added my parsley and basil mix to it. I only added about half of it and I also added my garlic and I'm going to go ahead and stir that in so it can flavor the sauce really well. Those tomatoes are really starting to blister. The bell peppers are starting to get soft. The onions are looking translucent. Everything looks amazing and I wish you guys could smell my kitchen right now. Oh my goodness. All right, so everything is nice and cooked down. All of the flavors have married well. Oh, I love this pan. Like nothing sticks to it. It cooks everything so evenly and it's just the perfect pan, you guys. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and assemble our burrata toast. 
So to assemble the toast, all I did was put the tomato and bell pepper and onion mixture on top of the slightly toasted bread and I added my burrata right on top. I'm gonna put this back into the oven for about five minutes just so the cheese can get nice and melty and when we cut open into that burrata, it's gonna be so gooey and delicious. So this is going back into the oven and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Alrighty folks, and just like that, lunch is served. Look at that delicious burrata toast with that melty cheese on top, that delicious tomato, bell pepper, and onion mix. And of course, I added some additional chiffonaded basil and parsley on top. This meal is gonna be so delicious. Thank you so much, Caraway, for making lunch so easy and even more delicious today. Your pans are truly amazing, and I'm looking forward to just exploring all the recipes that I can with them. So you guys, I'm about to dig into this. I will see y'all in the living room. So now it's time to prepare dinner and I'm going to be using my caraway saute pan and saucepan to prepare dinner. I'm going to be making a delicious seafood pasta and to prepare it I have some linguine and clam sauce from Trader Joe's. I also have some heavy whipping cream. I have some Bertoli creamy basil alfredo, fresh parmesan of course, parsley and I have some langostino tails and some scallops for my seafood, fresh garlic, butter, and I have some seasonings here, garlic powder, basil, red pepper flakes, oregano, and green goddess seasoning. I also have some asparagus to go on the side and those are gonna bake in the oven. So the first thing I did was add some butter and olive oil to my pan. I went ahead and used that to cook my scallops and brown them up nicely. After that, I removed the scallops and added some more butter, my garlic, and my seasoning to the pan. After that, I went ahead and added my Alfredo sauce and my heavy whipping cream to the pan, and then I dumped in my seafood. I also went ahead and chopped up my parsley very finely and added that to the sauce as well. In the other pan, I started to cook up my pasta. I followed the instructions on the bag. This pasta is super easy and it's very delicious. So after I cooked that, I went ahead and added that to the sauce as well and just kind of stirred everything together, allowed it to melt. I also added some freshly grated Parmesan on top and mixed everything together. It's so crazy creamy and it looks amazing. I added some additional parsley on top of it and boom, everything was done with the sauce. Once my asparagus was done, I went ahead and plated it up. This meal was so delicious and so easy to create. You have to try it. And using my Caraway cookware made cooking and cleanup that much easier. Alrighty, you guys. So the day has wound down to a close. Um, after I ate you know, time just went by really fast like it always does on your days off. But I did get to take a nap and watch this show that I've been loving on the Epix channel. It's called From and it's very interesting. If you guys get a chance, check it out. It's a little bit of sci-fi, a little bit of gore, a little bit of drama. And it's just a really good show. It's called From and like I said, it's on the Epix network. So if you have Epix on demand, you can pull it up. But yeah, I watched a few episodes of that. And now I'm just winding down, walking around, putting out all my candles, sipping on the rest of my wine, and yeah, it was a really nice day. I really do try to make the best of my days off, you guys. Like, I really try to just make them relaxing and interesting and nice. And these candles don't want to go out, so I'm going to have to blow them out. But I really do try to make them go by slow and just make the best of my days off. And that's something I would definitely recommend for all of you is to, you know, try to make the best of your days off because they just go by so fast. And that really is the time you should be living your life, your days off, you know. But, um, yeah, I really try to. Sorry, y'all, got to blow out all these candles. <laughs> I got two in the room, two in here going. But, yeah, I just wanted to close out the video. I am about to go and give my face a good old wash. As you can see, I'm back in my comfy clothes. So I will switch out to my pajamas in a little while. I do have some editing to do um, and some videos to send to my editor. So I gotta edit a reel and send the video to my editor. So I'm gonna work on that in the bedroom, but definitely wanted to close out the video officially because I never do on my <laughs> vlogs or these types of videos. So. Yeah, just closing everything up. Don't want nobody all up in here while I'm resting tonight. But I really enjoy just hanging out with you guys, spending the day with you, letting you know what I do on my days off. If you don't know, I do work for a law enforcement agency. I've been there 14 years, almost 15. It'll be 15 this year. And it's, you know, an awesome job, but the days off is where it's at. <laughs> so, 
yeah I wanted to just kind of hang out with you guys I want to send a special thank you to today's sponsor Caraway for my amazing new pots and pans I am so in love I just feel like I upgraded my kitchen instantly with those pots and pans like seriously I'm so excited about cooking again I love to cook anyway but it just makes me even more excited when you have something like really great and new to cook with so excited you guys if you're interested in picking up any of the pots and pans you saw or any of the items from Caraway I will have all the information linked in the description definitely check it out I promise you if you are looking to upgrade your cookware you will not miss with Caraway. I promise you. Try them out. Check out their website. Check the link below. And uh, yeah, time to upgrade, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Love ya. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>